Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. I'm the World's Address. We're playing Project Zomboid with Butcher Pete, who has slept uh, for quite some time. I think almost like 10 hours. But he still needs a cigarette. So we're going to do what we can to try and find a lighter. That's our big thing right now. Read map. So, we are here. Don't pay attention to this. I need an eraser. Whatever. We are here. We're going to hit up this house. And then right here where the map cuts off is a, like, general store style place. Let me just drink this milk. Which I can't do in real life. There we go. Well, we're gonna make our way through and hit up this store and hopefully find a lighter. That's our that's the goal. Pete is dying for a cigarette right now. I wonder, can I... No. I was going to see if maybe you could... Uh, roll up your sleeves. Like you can... You know, turn the hat around. Being able to roll up your sleeves, especially if they're instituting... Uh, insulation and and uh, temperature and such the ability to roll up your sleeves when you're wearing a long sleeve shirt would be paramount so here's hoping that they do that that would actually be super useful now if I'm not mistaken I think I've been in here I think this is a bar though and if I've been in there I haven't been out the back I know it's not a house. Is Yeah, it's the bar. Nice. Okay. One thing it definitely has is a bunch of stuff to tear down. But... I hear... I have to turn this on. Sorry. Where do I hear the zombie? Ah. Not there. Back door. Back door? I'm real confused. I know that there's a zombie somewhere. I just don't know where. Since I have to have a flashlight, I will take that battery. I also want this carton. see a zombie anywhere, but I hear them. I will take more... I will take more cigarettes, but what I really need... Game. Is the ability to do something with them. I don't see anything happening with this door. It must be in the bathroom. Ooh, hello. More cigarettes pool ball, which I guess would be useful, ish, hammer and rope, okay, 
It's got to be in the bathroom. I want to be able to freely come back here, so... Ah-ha-ha-ha! -ha -ha. Come on. Come on out. Good night. All right. You've got a key. And not much else. And you have... A head bandana. Which, let's be honest... Yep. That definitely looks a little bit more like a lot of chefs that I know. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a lot more accurate. We'll go with that. Okay. That's going to be a really good place for construction. I honestly, that's all I really want to do in there is hit up that place and just tear apart everything. That's not where we wanted to go though. Where we want to go is there. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Is that tired or bored? Oh, I'm sad. Aww. Do I have anything that I can read to make myself not sad? No. Okay. No. All right, food store. Taxi. Couple of Zambos. But no windows along this wall, so. Alright. Matches. Please, God, some matches. Lighter! Two lighters. Fantastic. I haven't been in here much. I came in here looked around, saw that there was a bunch of stuff that I'm definitely going to want, and then kind of left. So, there's still quite a few things here that I can utilize. And one of the biggest things is that there's, I think, still some fresh... Nope. Nope. I gathered all the fresh food. Alright, that's good. That's good. Clothing-wise, there's a v-neck. Um... There's some just pants and a purse. Not that great. Trash can wise, there's nothing. A blue pen and a griddle pan. If I could find an eraser, that'd be nice. Yeast, more cigarettes. Tea bag, saucepan, charcoal. I'll grab the kitchen knife. They don't last long. I would prefer the hunting knife. Honestly. That seems to last quite a ways. And then I do also have a cleaver. So I won't be out of luck once this butcher knife dies. But I also, while I'm relatively safe, I'd also like to see... That's my backpack. I would also like to see what it would take to fix it, you know? Repair. Duct tape, glue, and adhesive tape. Okay, so I thought I saw some duct tape in here. Or glue, or really anything. I should start paying more attention to those things as well. That just means it's going to be a little more difficult to kind of go into a place with a clear list of things that I need. Because I need so much. But I do 
need to pay slightly more attention to repair items so that if I've got a busted something or another, yeah, I, I guess I didn't see anything in there. If I've got a busted something, I can then fix it. That's going to be pretty important. There is a back room that I forgot to go into. Usually back rooms have a bunch of stuff in them. Let's see if there's anything around. There's an obvious car crash there. Real nice looking car there. Laundromat. And now this is going to be important. If I could get this van. Okay. If, let's say, this key for instance No, it does not. That's just a regular key. I guess keys aren't universal. That's a dang shame. Uh, being able to take this van would honestly, ooh, uh, yeah, be amazing because then I could put large sized things in it. Washer and dryer, for instance. Wallet. Nonsense. I'm just going to try something because this is a a key, but not the key that they want. Okay, that's fine. I want in here, please. Hmm. Well, there's only one way into the laundromat, and uh, it said no. So that's fun. All right. It says that I am a little sad. Oh, it's because I still haven't. Um, unpack, please. I forgot to smoke. There we go. That will help quite a bit. See if any of these cars. No. All right, so I'm gonna have to bring a car up here, but with as close as I am to not. Well, I don't know. It's typically like three weeks, I think, for electricity and stuff to go off. So having a washing machine, um, you know, could be useful for a little while. Washing machine and dryer that would at least cle uh, keep my clothes clean for a bit. That's where they are. They're around here somewhere. Nope. Oh, no! 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 Ah! What is happening? Why aren't you... Why aren't you doing anything? What happened? Ah, oh, shit. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Bandage! Oh hell! Come on! Fuck! Off! Bandage! Bandage, 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 bandage! Damn it! Four days, five hours, 23 zombies. It wouldn't push. He kept, like, uh, glitching out. Uh. 
it just kept like wiggling and he wouldn't push or stab or anything. That shouldn't have happened. It was only two of them. <sighs> well, there's nothing I can do about it now. <sighs> so, that's going to be the end of Butcher Pete, obviously. That's also going to be the end of this particular world. I'm going to be going and uh, starting a new character in a new world completely. So that's what you guys can look forward to next episode. I am not particularly happy about this. He lasted about the same amount of time as Nermit did, I think. Four days, five hours. I think he killed less zombies. I had plans, man. I can't believe it. It just started to stutter and it wouldn't, he wouldn't push. I was jamming the space bar. He wouldn't push, he wouldn't hit, nothing. All right, well, I feel like I was robbed here. I feel like Butcher Pete could have really done a lot of, a lot of good work. Well, say goodbye to Butcher Pete. You did your best, buddy. This wasn't your fault. And, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that this was a short one. Um... Man, I'm bummed now. That sucked. Alright. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very much. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, and as always, this is the world's address. And I'll see you guys next time.